What is up guys? My name is Ebenezer Frimpong and welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up your Google Ads account, how to set up conversion tracking and accurately track your sales data from your Google Shopping campaigns or Google Search campaigns. Actually, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to set up your conversion tracking. But this video is just an updated version of a video I made about a year ago. And the reason why I'm updating it is because things have changed. Things are not the same as they were a year ago. Um, interfaces have changed and a couple different things have changed as well. So I wanted to give you guys a more updated version for 2020. Now, before I get started on Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend, I ran a promotion on my Instagram and Snapchat that I forgot to run on YouTube and here it is. So if you guys still want to take advantage of any of these, the links for that will be down below in the description. Um, now that's pretty much it. Let's actually roll the intro and dive right in. So the very first thing that I'm going to show you guys how to set up is your Google ads account. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you two different ways to set up conversion tracking and I'm also going to talk about which way is the better way um, to set up and which way you should always use so the very first thing is type in Google Ads into Google of course and it's gonna be this very first one right here also make sure you're logged into um, the same email account that you use to set up your analytics and your merchant center account it just makes everything a lot more easier and everything is kept in one place and a lot more organized so let's go ahead and click in here and then we're going to click start now. You could, it doesn't really matter which one you click. You could click start now or sign in. It doesn't really matter. Wait for it to load. And it's going to take you to this page. Now on this page, this is AdWords Express. It's a dumbed down version of Google Ads. And I don't know why I just called it AdWords Express because they changed the name. It's actually just simply um, Google Ads Express. It, it's stupid. Don't use that one. This is not what you want. You want to come all the way down here where it says switch to expert mode and click that. Wait for it to load. And then you're going to click create an account without campaign. And then you're here, you're going to select your time zone and then submit and then click explore your account your account is set up. The next thing you want to do is also go in here to billing, billing settings. You're just going to be setting up billing. Um, all your billing information is going to go in here and then submit. You will not be able to run ads without setting this up. So after you have that done, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, setup and you're going to go to preferences. And then it's actually, no, it's not. It's actually under billing, billing summary. Okay, so it actually won't show you that um, until you add your billing information. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial, but um, once you add your billing, you'll be able to go to a page. It's either going to be in billing summary or billing settings, and you'll see a section that says add promotional code. Now you'll be able to add a promo code um, and I believe right now it's spend $50 and you get $100 for free. It, Google has been doing this thing where they're testing different amounts. Um, a couple months ago it was spend $100 and get $150 for free. But they always give you free ad credit and you really want to take advantage of that. So to get that ad credit where to find it, one, once you have this all set up in a couple of days they're going to email you that automatically. Um, if you don't get an email from Google Ads, you might get it from Google Analytics. It's always going to come from one of those two places, Google Ads or Google Analytics, and they'll send it to you in a couple of days. Um, but let's say you don't get that email. Then you can actually go to a tab. Let's go in here. Whoops. Right here. So you you can go to Google and type in Google that you can go to Google and type in Google Ads $100 ad credit click on this and right now it's will match the amount you spend up to 150 so basically if you spend 50 you'll get $50 if you spend um, 100 you'll get $100 if you spend 150 you'll get $150 um, they'll match you 
So, like I said, they're testing different things right now. It's it's really it's really weird. Um, before it was a default spend fifty get a hundred dollars, but they're testing a bunch of different things. So all you're gonna do is put in the email account for your ad account. So in my example would be demo friend pong one at gmail.com. Boom boom boom. I'm not a robot. And we're gonna do get the offer code. And that should instantly send um, the promo to the demo friend pong email. You should that's how you get the, the coupon code. So now that that's done. The next thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to set up conversion tracking. Now there's two ways to do it. One is manually and the other one is automated. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up conversion tracking manually first and I'm going to talk about it. So let's head back to Google ads and go over that. Boom. So to set up conversion tracking, the very first thing you want to do is head up to tools and settings, measurement conversions. Hit the plus sign, website, and then here you're just going to select purchases because we're tracking sales on our Shopify store. Conversion name is going to be um, Shopify purchases, or you can put your store name. Actually, let's do that. Let's do Firm Express, and then for this example, I'll just do Firm Express manual purchases. Manual. Actually, let's just do Firm Express purchases just like that right and then down here it's gonna say um, how how do you want to measure the value so we want to select use different values for each conversion because sometimes your product what you might have a product in your store that's fifty dollars another product that's sixty dollars they might buy both of those products now that your total order value is 120 110 I'm really not good at math sorry guys um, but you want to select use different values for each conversion and just set the default value to one we're gonna change that in the code. We're gonna edit the code. Um, as you guys can see here, it says add dynamic values to your tracking code on the next page. So we'll do that. And then here, how many conversions to count per click on interaction? You wanna select every. So basically every purchase is valuable. That's basically what you're doing. And then conversion window, I used to leave this as is. I used to leave it at 30 days, um, but now I actually leave it, I have it set to uh, 90 days. There we go. And then everything else you're gonna leave as is and you're just gonna click create and continue. And you're gonna click install the tag yourself. And both of these tags we're going to copy, right? So we can go ahead and do this. Copy this, actually let's go, let's do this. Edit, copy, and I'm actually gonna take it into a notepad and I'm actually gonna take this into a notepad. So let's do this, boom. So this, this is the manual conversion template. This is gonna be right down below for you guys to access, but you're gonna paste that first code you copied in here in between these two tags. So edit, paste, just like that. And then scroll down, you're gonna copy the second one now on the second one, make sure you have it selected to page load. And the first one, make sure you have the global site tag is it installed on all your HTML pages. And then we're gonna copy this. And then we're gonna paste it below that very first tag, just like that, boom. And then get rid of that space. Now we have to edit this code because this code right now is telling Google that no matter what they buy on our store, the value is $1. We don't want that. We want to adjust that code. We want to edit that code. So you're going to paste this right here. You're going to copy this, right? Value, currency, transaction, and that closing script. And then you're going to highlight that same value here. So value, currency, transaction ID, and then the closing script. And then you're going to replace that like that. Just like that. Boom. And you're going to copy this entire code just like that. You're gonna copy the entire thing. And you're just gonna go into Shopify. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to checkout. Scroll all the way down right here, additional scripts, and paste it in here. Just like that. And it's it save. 
right? And then we'll go back to Google Ads. And then we'll hit next. And that's it. That's the manual way to set up conversion tracking and just hit done. Just like that. All right. Now sales are being tracked, but you manually set that up. Now, the better way to set up conversion tracking is to use the Google Shopping app that we installed in our last video um, for Merchant Center. That's the better way to set it up. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go in here. We'll actually go to apps, Google Shopping, boom. And then right here where it says manage accounts, we'll click on that. And right here where it says connect your Google Ads account, you're just gonna click connect. And then right here says your Google Ads account might have multiple conversions. It's gonna always say that no matter what, just hit X. Um, hit view details, even though you, we have, even though we haven't added billing information, I'm just going to go ahead and hit this. I've added billing info. Just always make sure you've added billing info before you start running ads or they will not work. Right now we're done. Conversion tracking has been set up. Google shopping automatically creates them for us. So let's go back into our Google ads account and then refresh on that same conversions action page. Boom. And as you can see, Google Shopping created um, multiple different conversions actions. So we have page view, we have purchases, view item, add to cart, uh, begin checkout, initiate checkout really, Google app search, Google Shopping app, add payment info. Uh, and here we have purchases again. Now, you cannot have two purchase conversions running at the same time, right? Because now Google, now the Google Shopping app is going to tell you that little yellow yellow pop up that popped up. It basically said double check to make sure that you don't have two purchase conversion trackings set up, or it's going to duplicate all your conversions. So if you get if your store gets a hundred dollars in sales and in conversions from Google Ads in the back end here your ad account is going to be all screwed up because it's going to say you have $200 worth of conversions when you only got $100 worth of conversions. It's going to duplicate that because you have two purchase conversions set up. Now, I like to use this Google Shopping um, automated conversion tracking setup because recently, well, in my testing this year, it just worked a lot better when when it came to optimizing, right? When having your ads and campaigns optimized for purchases, this worked a lot better. Now, you can also have this here, uh, the manual one set up just in case anything was ever to happen to the Google Shopping app um, and conversions something somehow started tweaking or anything like that. You can have this here as a backup, but what you need to do is see right here where it says including conversions. You need to go in here and then edit settings and see where it says including conversions. You want to uncheck that and hit save and then hit back. So what did we just do? We just turned, um, we just told Google not to include, um, we made, okay, let me re-explain it. So there's now two conversions for, conversion tracking set up on our demo store from express purchases and the automated one Google shopping app purchases. What's going to happen is instead of getting sales, when we get a hundred dollars worth of sales, instead of Google ads duplicating that and saying we have $200 worth of sales when we only have a hundred, it's only going to read this one, this Google shopping app. It's only going to include this into our conversion data. It's going to say yes but the value will still be marked by right here. It just won't be included into our campaigns and Google ads is not going to optimize for that. So if anything was supposed to, if anything was to happen to the Google shopping app here, all you have to do is turn this one off, go in the settings here and just hit yes. And now it's like you never lost any data. So that's exactly how you set it up. But most, but most of you guys will never have to deal with that. Um, so I don't even recommend setting up this manual one. Just use the Google Shopping app. It's a lot easier um, to set up. And that's pretty much it for this video.
that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and most definitely subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on my most active social media platforms, Instagram and Snapchat. That's it, and I'll see you guys next time. Stick with it. When it comes to the flow, I'm sick with it. Had to remind myself. I had to find myself. I was lost. I couldn't settle for working for nobody else. I'm too much of a boss. I'm quiet. I don't need to talk. I'm trying to stack a meal in a boat. They was throwing shade and salt. Jay-Z, the way I brush them off. Niggas hating because I'm taking off. It ain't easy. I'm paying the cost.